Okay. I listen to a lot of, I bring a lot of like Parliament Funkadelic and old like 70s fusion and funk. That's the stuff that I learned to play the bass to. Sitting in my dad's basement, procrastinating from writing history exams, sitting and learning like Jamiroquai songs. I'm much more from like a blues aspect, I guess. So I listened to every Steve Ray Vaughan song. Unfortunately, I was one of those guys. <laughs> and Eric Clapton and like BB Kane, you know, Albert Kane and Freddie Kane and anybody with Kane in their name, I feel like <laughs> they're gonna be pretty awesome because you have to earn that shit. <laughs> Grade 10, my favorite band was like Smash Mouth and Limp Biscuit. Like I didn't know music at all. I had, in my family, like I grew up, I grew up riding my dirt bike and playing hockey, and I didn't have anybody in my family to say, "Hey Tom, he should listen to this." Like I don't know, but it wasn't until in grade 11 I got the Dave Matthews uh, and Tim Reynolds live at Luther College album, and uh, and then I was like, "Whoa, music can be good." I mean, I always knew that I loved funk, I guess. I, I mean, I was a huge fan of, the, of Rage Against the Machine for a long time, and I didn't even realize that it was funk. I had no idea. There, yeah, t you know. I grew up in a Pentecostal church, so I had a tender age of six, I guess it was. I started playing in church. And then I got into a lot of jazz music, I guess, through high school. Um, no real particular artists there that I really favored. I guess I didn't know a whole lot about jazz at the time. I thought I did, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I picked up the Dave Matthews Band because of Carter Beaufort, where I'm a drummer. I thought he was a, he was a great drummer. And uh, Questlove from uh, The Roots, great drummer, great player. I uh, can't forget Chad Smith from the Red Hot Chili Peppers as well. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess that's who's influenced me a bit. <laughs> 